Hey guys, I'm here at Red Rock. Uh, we gotta get ready for a wedding. There's a wedding tomorrow and we gotta do a little finishing up stuff. I'm gonna go up to the barn with Mary Beth and uh, we're gonna move some tables around and things like that, get things ready. The folks are already here setting up their for their party. They get to decorate, so looks like they're gonna have some fun. Yeah, just walk up here and see what she's doing. Hi guys. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so that's seating coming yeah. out here. So that'll set up there. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just put it up there, and I'll get a tablecloth on it. Oh, neat. Hi! My husband's hey, filming. Ooh. You guys don't mind, do you? No, no problem. All right, I see she's already replaced me moving tables, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get another table down here. Right. Uh, uh, how big of a gift table do you want? This is here? downstairs. We just started oh, using this. Before it was just awful. <laughs> now it's quite pretty. Really fix it up nice with antique furniture and things. Yeah. Just an old barn. Okay. Yeah, we keep working on it and trying to make things better all the time. Trying to keep the old barn alive. We'll put another table here and it'll have... And you're also having shrimp cocktail, right? And she needs electric for that, right? For the Oh, yeah. Want to set some electric up here for the photo booth? Sure. All right, mm -hmm. just maybe one plug. Right. Okay. We can go right through there with that extension cord because the plug's on the other side. Oh, don't you worry. All right. <laughs> You're in charge of that. All right, help me get some. I got the electric things. under control. Okay, good. When I bought it, mm -hmm. I thought I could just clean yeah. it, but the porcelain's gone. Right. So this is the cleanest sink in right. the county. Yeah. It's just, it's ugly. Okay. So okay. next year, if you come to a wedding, it'll have new porcelain. Right. <laughs> uh huh. That's the ten. Okay. Okay. Just take them down, and you can just lean them against the side of the barn, and then. And you'll come down. Yes, I tell us, down tell us what you want. want. Okay. My favorite thing to right. do is to tell <laughs> you what to do. You're all doing a good job so far. Okay, so BB Flowers is going to come in the morning. Yes. And they know how to do it. Set it up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Set one up here. Your table. Downstairs. Here. This is going around the arch. I haven't decided. It's, it just made it here as we go. We'll see what happens. All right, because I, I think there's hooks over there too to maybe right. go around. Yeah. This barn was erected about 100 years ago, but it was erected out of used material, which they did a lot of back in the day. Um, I know this because some of these barn, these beams are all hand hewn, and there's a lot of pockets and things like that that don't make any sense. I mean, they just wouldn't have put those pockets in certain places. Like, like this jo this beam right here was probably a sill at one time where it had joists laying on it, but I don't know for sure. And there's old rounds. And those are just basically a tree. They knocked the bark off and chopped it in place, and they flattened one side so the boards would nail flat. So like this side's nailed, nailed, and the boards lay flat in there. But uh, yeah, it's just a round. And there's another round. The barn's pretty neat. It's neat what they did back in the old days. They got the old, uh, they just erected it. It goes way up. It's probably, oh, it's, I bet you it's almost 30 feet to the peak. So. <laughs> Sometimes they set up the wedding. The wedding's actually going to happen down here. They have the chairs facing the barn, which will be real pretty. Sometimes they face it the other direction. We've even had weddings out underneath that tree there, which was kind of nice. I think, really hoping for a nice day tomorrow for these guys. But, it be October, you can't really plan the weather. Oh, that's, yeah, it's going to look great. Gonna, imagine we'll close that barn door and then they have that arch. I don't know what you call that, an arch, I guess, or a gable. Anyway, I'm going to hook up the electric she told me to, so that's what I'm going to do next. All right, doing the electric wasn't a big deal. I uh, just plugged it on this side of the wall. This is my closet area, so it's a little bit of a mess. I gotta put shelving up in there and finish that off. Then I just closed this door. Let me back up so you can see what I'm talking about. Just an old barn door I utilize. Use it for a closet door now. It's kind of nice. And just to make sure we got power, plug in my little electrical tester. And it's Good. All right, Mary Beth's directing, setting up the chairs. Nice. 
Oh, and then she just ran up the hill. Oh, nice, this guy's doing a great job. And these we'll put out if anybody wants to put their soda in a, in a cup, in a cup right. or something on the weekend. So I'll have my husband dump those soon. Okay. This has to get moved because the DJ's going there. Oh, okay. okay. What's going to get moved? Just this, this. Yes. The Hoosier? I have to set up the buffet. Could you take those two rooms out and dump them? Yeah, I can dump the coolers. What do you think about putting the, the drinks, this water and the soda? out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So just leave the coolers outside. <laughs> okay. It's going to be nice and I know the right. I've got the quicker furniture and stuff and I'm going to set up some okay. stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's All right. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah no problem. Thank you. And she's off again. Uh, All right. Going to wipe down the coolers with some quads. Get that done and then go find her for more marching orders. That's looking good. Yeah. So we'll put garland up on that and make it pretty. We'll close the door and it'll right, be a beautiful backdrop for the wedding. And then, this, and then we can wrap. It's coming together. Hi. Hey. Well, it's been almost two weeks since the last wedding. And we are getting ready for the next wedding, which just happens to be our youngest son. He's getting married tomorrow. So we're doing it again. We're, we're set. It again. We're setting up for a wedding again. <laughs> so yeah. we got this little. What what do you call that, honey? That tool, right? Yep, I have tool. There, we made a little altar area. So they're gonna get married in here because we're gonna have what? What's the percent chance of rain tomorrow? Hundred. Hundred. Okay. So anyway, how we're uh, setting this up? It's a small wedding, uh, probably no more than fifty people, and it's a surprise wedding. Only a handful of people know it's going to be a wedding. Most people think that they're coming to an end of season uh, party. And uh, so they're coming around four. We're gonna have shrimp cocktail downstairs and some drinks. And about 4.45, we'll tell everybody the dinner's ready and we can go upstairs. And when they come up, they're gonna know it's a wedding. <laughs> That's, I didn't realize how you were doing it. Yeah. And we so, got our little table set up again. You got it really looking pretty. Now this isn't like a head table. Nope, there's not going to be anything like that. There's no, there's no groomsmen or bridesmaids, are there? No, and we're also not doing, uh, we're not doing an actual sit-down meal. I'm doing a six-foot charcuterie table, mm. and I've made two kinds of soup. I've made Italian wedding soup, which is appropriate, and I've made a butternut squash soup. Excellent. And I also roasted a couple of sirloin roasts that we're going to. Slice thin, and I'm going to make some chimichurri sauce in the morning. And horseradish sauce, too? And horseradish sauce. <laughs> so anyway, Molly's going to come up, and I've tried to make a little aisle here for her to, to walk up. And then we're done for weddings. That's it. Last the wedding. Year. Closing the year with Connor. Yep. Okay. And uh, next wedding in the barn is scheduled for May 21st, 2022. At which point there will be a patio right outside there. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to get working on that. It's been a fun season, um, and I never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. And I like it. Yeah, it seems like the people like it too. So It's homecoming weekend, and we are on our way to Susquehanna to watch the parade with our grandchildren and children. And... Uh, Get up tomorrow and... Finishing prep work for the wedding for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. In addition to the caterer I have to get out at noon, the caterer I have to get out at one, the other wedding I have to get out at two, plus regular barbecue business. So it's gonna oh, be a long busy. weekend. <laughs> pretty busy at Red Rock Barbecue. All right, well stop by anyway. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. I could use more subscribers. I'm ratcheting my way right up on a subscriber list. We'll be over 200 soon. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Uh, again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. Ciao.